begin to thank the Lord? Can we begin to worship Him for His reason why we are here? Can we begin to thank Him? May His name alone be glorified. I enter into the holies of holies. Oh, I enter into the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I enter to worship you.
this morning? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, yeah, let's go. This kind God, oh, I've never seen your type, oh. This kind God, oh, blessed be your holy name. This kind God, oh, this kind God, oh, I never see your type, oh.
taken from Haggai 1 verse 8 to 9 and it says it go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house and I will take pleasure in it and I will be glorified said the Lord ye looked for much and lo it came to little and when ye brought it home I did blow upon it why saith the Lord of hosts because of my house that it waste and ye run every man unto his own house. And now your account number is 10166159455. And your account name is ROCCD Praise Tabanaku Project. The bank is Zenith Bank. You are God. You are not just big You are not just God. You are a great God. You are God. You are God. Oh, you are God. Oh, you are me. 
begin to pray over this offering that the hand that brought it shall be blessed. God shall replenish their pocket in a thousand fold. They shall never lack any good thing. Nothing shall miss from their family. Their family shall be safe. Nothing shall happen to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. brethren, we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. To the glory of our God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, our Savior, our Redeemer, the one who has kept us till this very day. We say you are welcome in Jesus' name. We bring you greetings from our dear Father in the Lord, Pastor Elvis Onojago, and our beautiful mama, Pastor Mrs. Judith Onojago. They send their greetings. You are all welcome to this year's back to school children program in Jesus name. It is a year of all round dominion and as this year has been declared as all round dominion according to the word of God in Judges chapter 5 verse 13 which says then you made him that we may not have dominion over the nobles among the people the Lord made me and you the Lord has made us have dominion over the mighty, over the economic crisis, over unhealthy things, whatever it is. You are reigning and you are having dominion completely and totally in the name of Jesus. We welcome you all in Jesus' name. As you have come here, the Lord will meet you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus. As the children ministers. Even I believe, beginning from the opening prayer, the miracle has started to happen. And I believe yours is coming upon you in the name of Jesus. As we move on in the program this morning, we welcome our dear daughter. For the spoken word, Raimot, precious Malik. This is a testament that God is good. And there is nothing Juju can do. His blood speaks better things than that of Abel. We stand gallant because our senior man is able. He who speaks to mountains and they move. And to dead dreams is escalator cools. We ask for mercy, but on top cavalry, mercy fool. He who is merciful and good. This is a testament that Jehovah is always good. Look, I have tasted and I have seen. And my belly has become full. This is proof that the fountain of life is the giver of life. This is why we thirst and drink of him to survive. We have seven oceans, yet he chose my belly to flow rivers of living water. Have you met with the Yahweh Chamber, the lion that guards the universe? When I run out of business, he stands as my chamber of commerce. Consistent king, you don't move like the wind. Yes, when body day hot, he comes as the wind. Even if you try to give Zobo, he must stone to wine. Are we not proof that such a God exists? That such a God is merciful and that is why we call him master of the universe. I seek to master your nature in this verse. I seek to follow your course without taking a reverse eye. I seek to serve. Become as intimate as an intercourse. Since it's just us. Before a virus infects the entire world. I want to show the planet we already planted as planned at first. And not by some theoretical research. Even as dark as the moon. 
I cannot separate his sun from his moon because his moon was also made to shine. Astronomy wouldn't be enough to explain his creativity. Even if I studied a star, it would lead me right back to him. I could ask the wise men, but I chose to seek the face of the wise God in whom is the gallery of the galaxies. Because when his glory comes, that things shall rise again to encounter the resurrection and the life. Men must hunger and taste after righteousness to eat from the bread of life. The devil has come to steal, kill, and destroy, but he has come that we may have life. See, the word I speak, they are of truth, spirit, and they are of life. Because he has given us everything that pertains to life. So who dare control your joy, your moayo? Even on a rainy day, the sun would rise. Other than at a and spice. So why wouldn't you, your you know? We must see your insist or smile. Nothing stops like menopause except you do pain or pause. You break the bank with big figures. It's time to wake up every Lazarus. Embody the legend of the Zika Zedicus. Hit every bit like a Zedicus. What name? You have magic in your voice, so finish us. the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. So these are lovely children this morning. These are children from age 6 to 8. They would like to bless us with memory verses of what they have learned so far. As you listen, may God bless you in the name of Jesus. Good morning, church. My name is Edmond Godfrey. I'm here to say my memory verse. Psalm 150, verse 1. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise God in his mighty heaven. Verse 2. Praise God in his act of power. Praise God in his surpassing greatness. Verse 3. Praise God with... Verse 2. Praise God with sounding trumpet. Praise God with harp and larry. Verse 4. Praise God with tambourine and dancing. Praise God with. Verse 4. Praise God with. <laughs> String and pipe. Verse 5. Praise God with clash cymbals. Praise God with resounding cymbals. Verse 6. Praise God. Verse 6. Praise God with. Verse 6. Let everything that has breath in them praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good day, church. My name is Judah Vodamsi. I'm here to say my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 8. It says, Have I shine for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and the gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and the glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy vision. <laughs> then lift up thin eyes round about and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be not at thy side. The multi then thou shalt see and flow together, and thin nuts shall be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come to thy light. The multi the multitude of common shall cover thee. The geometries of Median and Ephah, all they from Sheba shall come. 
They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the presence of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedah shall, shall be gathered together. The realms of Nebel shall range down unto thee. They shall come with acceptance on my altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as a cloud, and as the doves to their window? Thank you. Good old church. My name is Richard Philip. I'm here to say my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 25 and 1 to 2. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my, verse 2, O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemy try over me. Thank you. Good day, church. My name is Promise Peter. I'm here to recite my memory verse. My memory verse is from the book of Psalm 135, verse 1 to 4. I say, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Praise all ye the servant of the Lord. Verse 2. We shall stand in the house of the Lord. Verse 3. Praise the Lord for his good praises unto his name. Verse 4. As Lord has to take up for himself and Israel, for his peculiar treasure, thanks. Good day, church. My name is Sophia Idara. I'm here to say my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 24, verse 1 to 10. And it says, The world and all that is in it belongs to the Lord. The earth and all who lives on it are his. Two, so he built it on the deep waters, burned the earth, and laid its foundation in the ocean, in the ocean depth. Three, who has the right to go up the Lord's hill? Who enter his holy temple? For those who are pure in act and in thought, who do not worship idols or make false promises. Five, the Lord will bless and save them. God will declare them innocent. Six, such are the people who come to God, who come into the presence of the God of Jacob. Seven, fling wide the gates, open their ascenders, and the great king will come in. Who is this great six? Eight, who is this great king? Is is the Lord, is the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord victorious in battle. Nine, fling wide the gates, open the ascendant, and the great king will come in. Ten, who is this great king? Is the Lord, the triumphant Lord, is the great king. Thank you. Praise the Lord, Lord. My name is God in glory. I am here to talk about fulfillment of destiny. This topic is taken from the book of Abacus 2, verse 2. And it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and shall not lie. Thought is staring. Wait for it, because it shall surely come. I will not tell what is destiny. Destiny means God's plans for our life and future. This story is related to Joseph in the Bible. One, Joseph is the son of Jacob. Two, Joseph has 12 brothers. Three, Joseph's father loved him so much. Four, Joseph's father gave him a coat of many colors. What? What are the things Joseph went through before he could get to the throne? One, his brother hated him so much. Two, his brother threw him inside the well. Three, his brother sold him into slavery. Four, he went to the prison. Five, he went to the prison and became the prime minister. I want to encourage you, everyone, mommy and daddy, aunties and uncle, whatever situation you are in this life, don't lose faith. God is aware. He is working out the answer, so don't give up. Thank you. Good day, mommy and daddy. My name is Joel Fundasi. I am here to say my memory first. Two, 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 two first. Two first. Sound twenty seven first first one. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid of? When the wicked and my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though and host should I come against me, my 
तो उस तो वो Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gloria Senefio Clarence. I am here to say my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm chapter 95, verse 2 to 3. And it says, For let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with sons. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all God. Thank you. Good day, church. My name is Ebenezer Opoyeme Ote. I am here to say my wife was. My wife was taken from the book of Job 12, 13. And he said, With him is wisdom and strength. Yet can share and understand it. Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Akindele Emanuela. I'm here to say my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Psalm 30, verse 1 to 4. And it says, I will exalt thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and I not make my foes rejoice over me. Verse 2, I cried out unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Verse 3, and the Lord said, I bless thee. Verse 4, and it says, the <laughs> sing unto the Lord, O ye saints, and ye sing, and ye remembrance of His holiness. Thank you. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is David Adeyemi. I am here to recite my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from the book of Habakkuk two verse three, and it says. And Jehovah answered me and said, Write the vision and place it upon the table that he may run and read it. Verse 3. And the, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And not like though it starry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the living Jesus. I hope we are blessed with this uh, little presentation. Thank you so much, Mommy and Daddy. God bless you. Thank you, children. Good day, mommies and daddies. My name is Bella. We are the preteens of Praise Tabernacle Children Church, and we are here to present lines and songs. As you listen, may you be blessed. Thank you. This little light of mine. 
I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God without measure. We shall travel together, my Bible and I. I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God with a measure. We shall travel you together. My Bible was four for me, that's the word, Bible. Yeah. Which my means good. Bible However, some people came together to form an acronym, which means best instructor for living the earth. The only Bible the is a manual that directs, help us to make the right decisions. I urge us today, I urge to meditate on the word of God, day and night. God bless you. I, I have a wonderful treasure, the gift of God with a measure. The book of the Old Testament are Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, First Samuel, Second Samuel, First Kings, First Chronicles, Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalm, Proverbs. Exercises, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Lamentation, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Anaum, Malachi, Agai, Zephaniah, Agai, Zephaniah, Malachi. We shall travel. Bible and I, I have a wonderful treasure. The book in the Bible in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, shall travel John, together. And Roma, First Corinthians, Bible Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Second Thessalonians, We shall travel together. My Bible and I. Second Peter, I have a wonderful treasure. The gift of God. We shall travel together. My Bible and I. Blessed are the man who walketh not in the counsel of the God, nor stand in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the stone of God, but is the man who the Lord and his word is shall meditate day and night and shall shine over the rivers of the water. The book of God's own food in the end of the day is not shown over the water. I will say that I just prosper. God, you understand? Believe me, can't go to win. Don't be afraid. 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 A wonderful treasure, the gift of God with a measure. We shall travel together, my Bible and I. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Again, this there is no love. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, 
Kingdom of God is at hand. Therefore, repent, for the Lord is coming to take his people. Thank you.
dearly beloved. George, my name is Jesus and I'm here to present my memory verse. My memory verse is taken from Psalm 119 verse 1 to 55. By, by God's grace. <laughs> One, blessed are the undefined in his way who walk in the law of the Lord. Two, Blessed are those who keep his testimony and seek him with the whole heart. Three, they do no iniquity in his way. Four, thou hast commanded us to keep thy precept diligently. Five, oh that my way were directed to keep thy statute. Six, then shall I not be ashamed when I have respected unto thy commandment. Seven, I will praise thee with all righteousness of us when I shall learn of thy righteous judgment. Eight, I will keep thy statute. Oh, forsake me not totally. Nine, where with thou shall a young man cleanse his way by taking him according to thy word. Then, where with that have I saw thee? Oh, let me know that from thy commandment. Eleven. Then, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. Twelve. Blessed are those, O oh Lord, please teach me thy stature. Thirteen. Thirteen. With my lips have I declared all judgment of thy mind. Fourteen. I have rejoiced in thy testimony as much as all riches. Fifteen. Make me to understand the way of thy. Make me to understand. Make me to meditate in the way of thy precept. Uh, uh, and I have respected unto thy. What that us works. Sixteen. Sixteen. I'll sixteen. Make me to make me to understand. Make me to keep that precept. Make me to keep that precept. I will not forget that work. Seventeen. Do but if you with my servant that I may live to fulfill that I may live to fulfill that word. That I may live to fulfill that word. Um, eight, um, eighteen. Open my eyes, open my eyes and behold one of us things. 19. I am a stranger in the earth. He not a commandment from me. 20. 20. Oh, my soul longeth and breaketh that it hath unto thy judgment at all time. 21. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are caused and do error in thy commandment. 20, 22. 22. Remove from me all reproach and compare for I have kept thy testimony. 23. Precious also didn't sit and speak against me, but serve and meditate in thy statue. 24. 24, thy testimony is my delight and castle. 25, by so clever unto the quicken down me according to thy word. 26, 26, I have declared my way and thy head rest me. I have declared my way and thy head rest me. 27, make me to understand the way of thy precept. So shall I have talk of wondrous things. 28, <sighs> Thirty-eight, man. So melted unto evidence. Stretch it down me according to thy word. Thirty-nine, to remove from me the way of life. Grant me the law graciously. Thirty, 
I've chosen the way of truth that judgment have I laid before me. That he won't. Um, I, I am stuck until that it is tomorrow. Oh Lord, put me not to shame. The, that it's that it too. I will run in the way of that command. I will run in the way of that commandment. Oh Lord, oh Lord, please teach me. Oh Lord, please teach me. That is that is three. That is three. That is three. Make me make. Make me to understand the way of that statue and I'll keep it continuously forever and ever. Thirty-four. Make, thirty-four. Make me make me to understand and I shall keep thy law. Yeah, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Thirty-five. Make me to go in the path of thy commandment. Thirty-six. Thirty-four. Incline my heart unto thy testimony and not to convey your stand. Thirty-seven. Remove from remove from me. Remove turn away my reproach. No. Thirty-seven. What is I'm choosing I'm choosing the way of the statue. Make me to go in the path of righteousness. Uh, 41. 41. Let that mercy also fall upon me. Let that mercy also fall upon me. Oh Lord, even thy salvation according to thy word. That is that is uh, 42. 
that we're going to pray. You can pray for all the children in Praise the Lord. Father, in the life of all our children, let the manifestation, the glory of your praise, let it be made manifest. Let people see them and see your glory in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And as you take your seat, I want you to welcome the neighbor to your right and to your left and just tell him you are blessed and you are highly favored. Quickly do that as you take your seat in your father's house this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to appreciate God for making it possible for me to join you live through Skype. Amen. Thank God for technology. There is no distance anymore. Wherever we are, we can connect, we can see ourselves, and we can hear ourselves. This today is the day that the Lord has made, and we are already with It's all the truth, the teens and the young adults in the house, amen. Today is a special day, and I declare that you shall all be great in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to use this medium to appreciate all our uh, children, uh, church. I want to appreciate the head of department, Sister Esther, and all the teachers for all their labor of love, their sacrifices, and their relentless efforts in putting this program together. God shall bless you all, and you shall never lack any good thing in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, it's my privilege to bring forth the word of God, and as I'll be speaking on the theme for the Back to School program, All Round Dominion, All Round Dominion. Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. Genesis 1, 28. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Bible says, Then God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Second scripture I'm going to read to us this morning is from Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 34, verse 1 to 3. David here said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He said, my soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Please, let's bow our heads as we pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. Thank you for this great privilege, O oh Lord, to be in your presence this glorious Sunday morning. Thank you for the life of all our children. Thank you, O oh God, for the parents. Thank you, O oh Lord God, for their teachers, both in school and both in the church. Thank you, O oh God, for everyone you are bringing into their life to influence them in a positive manner. Lord, we are asking that as your word we come forth this very moment, it shall come forth with power, with grace, with mercy, with glory, and there shall be signs and wonders in all our lives. Lord, we shall not go back the same way we've come, but Lord, we will do something glorious that will last forever in all our lives. Father, take absolute control. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Beloved children, and indeed everyone under the sound of my voice, I'd like all of you to know that God has made us kings and queens. Amen. He has made us kings and queens with the ability to live in victory every day of our lives. So you children, I am letting you know right from this very moment till the very end, God has made it possible. God has made it in such a way that you can live in victory every day of your life. A life that wins every challenge. As challenges come, you win them. A life that overcomes every temptation. Because you are going to face temptations in life. Right from right now, you face temptations. But you can overcome all of them. A life that excels in all endeavors. Everything you do, 
They have seen how you've done presentations already. We have seen how you started the service, how you sang, you were dancing. I, I love the way they took the building offering. Amen. You can excel in every of your endeavors because God has made you king and queen. Not only that, you can get distinctions in all exams that you're going to take. Because as a student, the priority of a student is to pass. Is to pass with distinction. When you can pass all your exams, every exam you take, amen, even as you are going back to school now, you are going to be faced with exams and you are able to pass them all, then God will be glorified in your life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Not only will you pass all your exams, a life that will showcase the greatness of God, that is the life that God has given to every one of you, children, and indeed every one of us under the sound of my voice. But to live this life of dominion, because a life that does all of this, that is able to win challenges, that is able to overcome temptations, that is able to excel in all that you do, whether it's in your school, whether it's your project, as you grow, you know, you are moving from one class to another, you move from primary to secondary, from secondary to university, you begin to work, you begin to get married. As you are moving all of these things, you are excelling. Amen? And you are showcasing the greatness of God. All of this is the true meaning of dominion. Now, there is a secret to get this dominion. Amen? And that secret is embedded in the theme of the month for September, the glory of praise. To be able to unlock dominion in all areas of your life, one secret, one way that you can do it is through praise. Amen? Praise is like the key that opens the door of God's glory and power allowing you to reign with him. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Now, quickly, I will talk to you about understanding all around dominion. Understanding all around dominion. From our anchor scripture in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, the one I read to you, God gave Adam and Eve dominion over everything that he created on earth. This means that he had absolute control, number one. It means that he had authority, number two. It means that they had power over all that God had created. So God gave them absolute dominion. But this also means that this dominion that God has given to them, to Adam and Eve, before they, they, they fell into sin and God drove them out of the Garden of Eden, by extension, he has also given to you and I. Amen? Once we align ourselves to God through the blood of Jesus. So as you are seated in church right now, under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that God has given you dominion. God has given you the power to have control. God has given you authority. And he has given you the grace to be who he has called you to be. And what does dominion mean for you as teens and children? Number one, at school, what does dominion mean? It means that you can have dominion by excelling in your studies and being a leader and not a follower. You see, in your school, there are people that are leaders and there are those that follow. The leaders are the ones that set the pace in all the, all the different subjects you are doing. You'll be the best in mathematics. You'll be the best in English. You'll be the best in science. You'll be the best in, in, uh, in uh, um, uh, what do you call it now? In... Um, in uh, social studies. You'll be the best in everything. You'll be the best in all the subjects. Once you can do that, you will be showcasing the dominion power that God has given to you. Amen? In your family, you can also have dominion as a child or as a, as a teenager. Well, how will you do that? You can have dominion by being respectful, by being obedient, and setting good example for your siblings. Even if you are the youngest, it doesn't matter. David was the youngest, but he was able to set examples for his seniors. He was chosen as king over and above his elders. Amen? David set good example. You, as a child that has dominion, you are to set good example. 
Even if daddy and mommy they're not there. Even if your uncle, your auntie cannot see you. Even if pastor cannot see you. Wherever you go, you have to set good example, be respectful, be obedient, and to do the things that God expects of you. Do you know that you can also have dominion with your friends? Amen? With your friends. You can have dominion by standing on what is right. Because, you see, as you are going out, as you are going back to school, friends will come and tell you things that are not right. Friends want to influence you, especially those of us, those children, that you that are teenagers already. At this stage of your life, the decisions that you are going to make, it will determine how great you become in the future. If you follow those bad people that say, oh, it doesn't matter to have a boyfriend, or oh, we just kiss, nobody will see us, or oh, we cheat in exam, or oh, you want to go and join courses and thinking, oh, the ones that are in court are the ones that are happening. If you follow bad example, it will destroy the glory and the dominion that God has set before you in your future. So what do you do? To showcase that dominion, you are to set good example. You are to stand on what is right, even if others are not doing so. Then your dominion will make manifest. All round dominion means that God wants you to have victory. He wants you to have victory. Victory in every part of your life. Your mind, your body, your relationship, your future, your destiny, and your education, in all aspects. Even those of us that are parents, it is the same thing. God wants us to have dominion in all aspects of our lives. And to have this dominion, we must do what is right. We must do what is right. Part of what makes our country, Nigeria, to be a laughing stock, to be difficult, for things not to be going well, is because each and every parent that are meant to do the right thing, there's majority of people doing the wrong thing. The more the wrong thing, the more you do the wrong thing, the less dominion you'll be able to make to, to manifest. Because dominion will only work out in obedience. Can't you see Adam and Eve? God gave them control. He gave them dominion. But the dominion was attached with doing what is right. He says, obey me, worship me, do not eat of these fruits. As soon as they disobey God, what happened to them? They lost the dominion. Till today, the more we disobey, the more we do what we think will satisfy our flesh. The more we try to do what is happening, things that are not in line with God, the more we keep on losing our dominion. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Quickly, now I'm going to talk to you about the power of praise to unlock dominion. In Psalm 34, verse 1, David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. This is profound because the implication of what David is saying here is that he will not do something within his power to make sure, or he will do something within his power to make sure God is always with him. I will say, I will say that again. When David says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. It means that he will make efforts. He will do all that he can do so that the things he's doing will attract God to himself. Because if God can be with you as a child, as a teen, and also as a parent, if God is with you every day, then you begin to see the manifestation of the glory of praise. Psalm 22 verse 3 it tells us that Lord God inhabits the praises of Israel. Inhabits our praise. The living translation says, For you are holy. The praises of our Father surrounded you, surrounded your thrones. They trusted you and you delivered them. The more you put your trust in God, the more God will deliver you from every of your trial, every of your challenge. Children, teenagers, Parents, let's not be deceived. You cannot go through this world, this life, without challenge. Challenge must come. Challenge is a must. But the more you operate in praise, 
true believer, you will be overcoming all your challenges. And when you overcome one, you are promoted to the next level. So the more of praise you do, the more of promotion that you will experience in life. Now, how do we tap into this dominion? The Bible says that God inhabits the praise of his people. This means that we can praise God, his presence comes down. When we praise God, God is there. When we praise him, his power is also present. Now, when we praise God, several things can happen. Number one, we invite God's presence. When we praise him, we invite God's presence. Beloved, we need God's presence to exercise dominion. Praise brings God into a situation. For you to be able to exercise dominion, you need God. You see, when Adam and Eve lost dominion in the Garden of Eden, it was because they left the presence of God. Remember the story that God drove them out of the Garden of Eden, out of his presence. So as soon as they were going away from God, they also went away from dominion. There is no dominion without God's presence. For you to be able to function in dominion, God's presence must be with you. Because God is the owner of dominion. He's the owner. Amen? So when we praise him, we invite his presence. And in his presence, there is dominion. Number two, what will you get? What, it, what happens when we praise God? Number two, we gain strength. We gain strength. Praise lifts our spirits. It lifts us up with joy. When you praise, you feel stronger and more confident. Why is it so? Don't you see when we are praising God in church, when the choir is leading us and we are dancing, we are rejoicing, we are clapping, people are shuffling, some people remove their shoes, so we carry a chair up. At that moment, you don't even remember that they are wearing it. You don't even remember that, oh, I have more sickness in my body. They don't remember at that moment the doctor's report. Because at that moment, your spirit is lifted and strength is coming into you. When your spirit is lifted, you receive strength from above. Amen? And that strength is what you and I need in a time that is as desperate as the time that we are living in. What happens when we praise God? Number three, we declare victory. Victory. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat won a battle simply by sending out singers to praise God. Amen? When we praise, we are declaring victory even before we say it. That's one of the activities of praise. When you are praising God, you are already declaring the victory. You have not seen the manifestation. Like I told us in the workers' meeting, from an expectation, you move straight to manifestation because of praise. You subject you to the process. You are not going to start praying and waiting for God to answer your prayer. Then God will give it to an angel. God will send it to an angel. The angel will come to you. Then there will be a manifestation from expectation to manifestation. So praise will give you victory in your life. Just like King Joseph had experienced. Praise is not just singing songs in the church. It is the key to unlocking God's power in every area of your life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Now, I'm going to give us three examples of all round dominion through praise that we can find in the Bible. Three examples. Number one, we'll look at David. In Psalm 34, verse 1, which I've already read, you know, David was a young shepherd born, became king. And why was this so? Because he was a man of praise. He was a man of praise. There, are many, there were many shepherds. There are many people that are shepherds. But David was different because he was a man of praise. The reason why God chose David was not because he was a shepherd. So there is no need to say, oh, David was a shepherd, therefore God chose him. I am also going to be a shepherd. I will leave school. Daddy and mommy, I'm not going to go to school. I want to go and be bearing sheep and goats in the bush of a couple so that God can choose me. That was not the asking. The reason why God chose him, because he was a man of praise. Even when he was facing lions and giants and the enemies, David always praised God. 
He praised God. He, 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 he gave God all the praise inside of him. His heart was aligned with God in praise, in reverence, in fellowship. He feared God. He had a heart to please God. Amen? God gave him victory in every battle because he praised him. He praised him. The more you give God praise, the more battles you are going to win. Amen? And I'm giving parents a secret. The more you praise God. Because we parents, we complain more than we praise. We complain. Now, in the country today, I can tell you that a lot of people are blaming even the man that refused to go to work and stays in his house and he drinks and gets drunk. He will tell you he does not continue. The one that uh, is, he couldn't pay his rent and he used all his money to play for my Jehu and lost everything, he will tell you he does not continue. Everybody is always blaming that person. Nobody wants to take responsibility. Amen? We complain too much. We always complain. We complain, oh, pastor is not around. He travels. He's just enjoying. Let me hear. You will complain, oh, the one that is on ground in every time is always shouting. You will complain, my head journey is too wicked. You will complain, church is not seeing me. They're not visiting me. They're not coming. You will complain, oh, that one did not bring life. They're not doing this one. Oh, the king of God did not even give us rights. You, what did you do? Have you asked yourself what you did? We complain more than we praise God. The moment we begin to carry out praises to God, rather than complaining, you will see that God will be showing you the way. God will show you the way. In God, there is always a way in all situations. There is always a way of victory. There is a path that will lead you to success. The thing is that, how do you find that path? Everything is in the heart of God. If you Praise him continually, more than complaining, he will show you what to do at the right time. God gave victory to David. Amen? And he lived a life of dominion, spiritually, in his leadership, and in warfare. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Because of time, I'm going to jump a little things and move on. You see, David experienced God so much. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 14, David was that same when they were doing a spiritual exercise. They were bringing the ark of David into the ark of God into the city of David. Remember that this ark had killed someone before, and they put the ark in the house of Obedidon because they were afraid. But when David saw that God began to prosper Obedidon, he now said, Let them move the ark to the city of David. In the process of doing it, because the earth represents God and his presence. What did David do? He will move the ark for a moment, they will stop, they will praise God and they will dance. He will move it again, he will stop, they will praise God, they will dance. Until he finally came into the city of David. And he began to dance so that his clothes was even exposed, he was dancing beyond forgetting about his reputation. Spiritually, that spiritual exercise was successful. They were able to move the act without casualty, without any itch, because they did it through praise. Praise. When David was also going to fight Goliath, amen, in 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 6, what did David do? He praised God again. He praised him. He praised him and said that these people, these uh, 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 sons, this, this uh, what do you call it now? This Goliath, you that is defiling the army of the of the of the children of Israel, the way God has delivered lions and bears in my hand, He will deliver you in my own hand. What was it? Doing? He was eulogizing the power and the experiences that I have with God. Praise! And what happened? He brought Goliath down. Praise! In warfare, he pressed God. Amen? Even when they took his children and they took, they kidnapped his wife, he also encouraged himself in the Lord, praising God again, inquiring of God, not complaining, and God told him to pursue and overtake her. Amen? That is a life of praise. 
Praise the mighty name of the Lord. What's the lesson to learn? No matter the challenge you face in life, in school, at home, like David, what should you do? You should praise God. Because if you praise God, He is going to give you dominion. And your life will showcase all round dominion. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Another example, quickly, is Paul and Silas. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 and 26. They were thrown in prison. Amen? Because they were preaching the gospel. They were thrown in prison. They, they, they rebuked one soothsayer and they got thrown in prison. But in prison, they began to pray. When they prayed, they started to praise God. And when they started to praise God, God intervened. Remember, we have another example of how uh, Peter was also thrown in prison. Peter's own, they gathered to pray. And they prayed for the first day, the second day. They were praying. In fact, in the morning of that night, they had already planned they are going to cut Peter's head off. But the angel came and brought Peter out. But Paul and Silas was different. Immediately they were praising God. They didn't wait for three days. They did not wait for any angel to come and the door opens and God and went. When he came, there was earthquake. Why? Because God is the one that came by himself. When God moves, the Bible tells us that when he moves, the earth will tremble. Amen? When God moves on your behalf, when you praise his children, teenagers, Young adults, youths, adults, parents, when you praise God, God will arise for you. There will be shakings and every change will be loosened. Amen? You see, when Paul and Silas praised God, God arose. There was earthquake in the jail. All the chains were broken. Everybody saw the glory and everybody surrendered because there is no enemy that will not surrender to God. Praise. You see the power of praise. Amen? We must praise. Lesson here is that sometimes you may feel stuck in a difficult situation. Like Paul and Silas, they were stuck in jail. Amen? Like when you face pressure or feel discouraged, but what we should do to you should praise God. Praise God. Praise God in such a way that he will shake the situation that it, that's making you uncomfortable. And it will give you freedom. It will give you victory. So you will walk in dominion in every aspect of your life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Quickly, I will talk to you now about experiencing God's glory to praise. To praise. Psalm 148 verse 13. Psalm 148 verse 13. Because of time, I will move a little faster. God's glory is his presence, his power, and his majesty. When we praise God, we experience his glory. His glory is what helps us to live a life of all around doing. Amen? In his glory, we are transformed. Amen? And we can rise above challenges. So you children, teenagers, you are to be praising God. Amen? In your studies, praise God so that we give you wisdom and understanding. You are going back to school now. You need wisdom to excel. You need understanding to be able to know all that they are teaching you. Amen? In your health, praise God so that you can get healing and strength. In your future, your destiny, that all of us parents, all our desire is that our children will make it in life. We want our children to be greater than us. But I can give you a secret now. If you parents engage and teach your children how to praise God, amen, praise God for the plans and the, the desires, all that they plan to do, you will see that God will go ahead of them and will perfect them. They will be experiencing favor that they cannot understand where it came from. One thing that I can tell you is that when you praise God, God goes ahead of you and makes a way where there's no way. It will give you favor in such a way that when other people are wondering, how did you do it? All you will be saying, it is God that did it for me. That will be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, as I begin to round up, amen, how can
can you live a life of oral dominion? How? How can you live a life of oral dominion? Through praise. Because we are connecting oral dominion with praise. How can you live this life? Amen? Three practical steps that I will show to you this morning. Number one, praise God daily. Amen? What did I say? Number one, praise God what? Daily. Don't praise God only when there's problem. Or you are in a car and the car wants to have accident. That's when we begin to shout Jesus. Amen? Praise God on a daily basis. When things are going well, what do you do? Praise Him. When things are looking tough, what do you do? Praise Him. Praise God on a daily basis. Whether it's in the morning before you go to school or at night before you go to bed, take time out to praise Him. Sing songs, thank Him, and declare His greatness. Number two, praise Him in difficult situations. When things are going wrong, Maybe a tough test, or they give you a tough assignment to do, or you have an exam that is upcoming, or you have a conflict or quarrel with your friends, amen, or mommy and daddy has grounded you and they want to discipline you, rather than complaining, what should you do? Rather than being confused, what should you do? Rather than getting annoyed, what should you do? Rather than showing fear, what should you do? You should praise God. Praise God. Praise Him and watch Him turn things around for you. Rather than complaining, and this one is going to all spirits, we should stop complaining and use that effort in praising God. Praise God. Some of us, we are looking for life partners. Praise God. Praise Him for where you are now. Some of us, we are not even thankful for what God has done for you, but you want Him to do more. Amen. The one he has done for you, have you appreciated him? Praise him. Praise him. Number three, share the power of praise. Share the power of praise. Now, encourage your friends to praise God too. Sometimes your praise can help someone else to see God's glory and power. You know, this is a form of evangelism. But it's a praise style. So I can call it praise style evangelism. Anyone who shares God's love to someone else, bringing peace, liberation, and the light of God has evangelized. He has evangelized. Amen? And you have sown a seed of righteousness for which God will honor and reward you. So encourage your friends, encourage your colleagues, your friends that you move around with, that they should praise God. Rather than they complaining and worrying, what should they do? They should praise God. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. So in conclusion, God has called you to live a life of oral dominion. But to walk in that dominion, you must unlock the power of praise. Amen? As you praise God, His glory will fill your life. And you will experience victory in all areas in the name of Jesus. So things Teens and children, and indeed everyone on the result of my voice. Remember this. Dominion comes through praise. One sure way of getting dominion is through praise. When you praise God, you invite his presence, his power, and his glory, which enables you to rule and reign in the life that God has given to you. Whether at school, whether in the home, or whether with friends, you are, you can have all around dominion by living a life full of praise in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to start now. Start now. Don't wait. Make it a habit to praise God. Lifting up his name, lifting up his holy hands, giving him praise, and he will show your victory for all to see. Thank God we are impressed upon him. So when we are talking of praise, we should be the ones that will show others how to praise God. Praise God over and above your situation and see the glory manifest in your life. Praise the mighty name of the Lord. Before I pray for you this morning and give the Father's blessing, I want to make a call. And I will please employ you to bow your heads. 
Because this moment is one of the most crucial time. Heaven is standing still at this moment. Because some very special people that have been trapped by the enemy, that have been caged for so long a time, that have been deprived from the glory and the blessing that God has made for them. Some people that the enemy has stolen their joy. God wants to set them free now. This is the moment that God will change their situation. God, you must answer this call first. A life of dominion will only be made manifest when the blood of Jesus has cleansed it. Amen? Until the blood cleanses you, there is no way to come in. It's like when the blood cleanses you, you come back into that garden of dominion, that garden of Eden where Adam and Eve were enjoying all around dominion. Sin is an abomination to God. And it is only one prayer that the only one prayer of a sinner that God is ready to listen to and is a cry for mercy. So I implore you, as you are seated right now, all heads bowed, all eyes closed, you want to cry for mercy and say, God, I have been deprived for so long. I have been cheated by the enemy. He has stolen from me. He has taken my joy. He has put me in sickness. He has put me in difficulty and I want to come out. I want you to set me free. Wherever you are seated, you have to lift up your hands so I can pray with you. This is a moment of decision. You have to decide. You have to decide. Because if you don't decide and come out of that hardship, the enemy will continue to steal your joy, kill your vision, and destroy everything good that God has planned for your future. So, in the next one minute, wherever you are seated, lift up your hand and surrender to Jesus and say, Father, here I am. I want your victory. I want your blood to wash me through. Wherever you are, yes, just lift up your hand. God can see you. I can even see you as from here. If you are lifting up your hand, lift it up very well so that the ushers can see you. I am going to pray with you now. If you are lifting up your hand, lift it up very well. Anyone's hand that is lifted up is lifted unto God. I told you, heaven is on attention to set you free. If you are lifting up your hands, you are going to pray this prayer with me. You are going to say, Father, here I am. I have heard your word today. Whether it's the teenagers, you can also do the same. Say, I have heard your word today, and I am coming out of sin. I have been oppressed for so long. But today, I want to be set free. Tell him in prayer that I believe that you died for me and because of Calvary. And today, I am confessing you as my Lord and Savior. Please wash me clean with your blood. Cleanse me from every iniquity and give me victory so that I will begin to walk in all around to me. If you have said this prayer, I want to congratulate you. The ushers, they will give you a card. And immediately after the service, you'll meet with them and they'll tell you more that you need to do. Praise the name of the Lord. If you don't mind, please let's go on our feet as we begin to pray. We're going to pray three solid prayers this morning and I will give you the Father's blessing as I round up with you this morning. The first thing we're going to pray is a prayer of thanksgiving. Amen? Thanksgiving is another way of praising God. Because you are thanking him for what he has done. Because when you thank him for what you have what he has done, he is able to do much more for you. So I want you to lift up your voice in prayer and say, Father, thank you for giving me all round dominion. I want you to go ahead and make that number one prayer this morning. Open your mouth and pray and say, Father, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for giving me all round dominion. Thank him. Thank him for your, your wife, your children. Thank him for your parents, youth, teenagers, children. Thank you for your parents. Thank you for your own life. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me all around to me. Thank you because I, you have given me power. You have given me your grace. You have favored me. You have given me authority. I have control. I'm no longer oppressed. Thank you for giving me all our dominion. In Jesus' mighty name, 
who have given that. Now you're going to pray and say, Father, empower me to live a life of praise so I can enjoy your glory in the name of Jesus. That's the next prayer. You say, Father, empower me to live a life full of praise so that I can enjoy your glory in the name of Jesus. Make that your second prayer. Father, empower me, empower me, empower me, empower me. Empower me to live a life full of praise. A life full of praise. A life full of praise. So that I can enjoy your glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now you are going to pray the last prayer. You are going to pray and say, Father, as I continue to praise you from a heart of honor and gratitude, let me walk in dominion in all areas of my life in the name of Jesus. You say, Father, as I continue to praise you from a heart of honor and gratitude, let me begin to walk in honor and dominion in all areas of my life. Go ahead and begin to talk to God. It, it is your desire. If you want to be oppressed, you can keep quiet and be looking at us. But if you want to walk in our dominion, you want to achieve success, you want to be victorious, you want to get all the blessing that God has prepared for you, all the favors that God has arranged for you, then you need to pray it. Say, as I continue to praise you from a heart full of gratitude, let me begin to walk in our dominion. I have been oppressed for too long. Now is my turn to walk in our dominion. Pray that prayer and believe God. And so shall it be for you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. As you have prayed to his hearing this very moment, God shall give you that all and dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. It will cause you to walk in joy. It will cause you to walk in success. It will cause you to be established in all round dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Somebody that is blessed already, clap your hands for Jesus. Clap some more. Keep clapping for him. As you are clapping, it's breaking your chains. As you are clapping, it's causing your joy to be complete. As you are clapping, all barriers to your fruitfulness is being demolished. As you are clapping loud and loud, amen, all your walls of Jericho to your greatness is crumbling down into dust. As you are clapping, all debts that you are owing is being wiped away. As you are clapping, happiness is coming to fulfillment. As you are clapping, new doors are opening unto you. As you are clapping, heaven is sending the helpers away. Your promotion is coming. As you are clapping, your expectation will become a manifestation in the name of Jesus. And if you believe that, I want you to shout three powerful hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise To God be all the glory. Now we can sit down and the children we are to rise. All the children, teenagers, and of course the young adults we are to rise. I can see you all beautiful. God will bless you all in the name of Jesus. Today I'm going to declare the blessing of God upon you afresh in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for all your children. Amen. May the blessing of God be released and fresh on them all in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you with wisdom, with understanding, and the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus. May God himself protect you and keep you from all the snares of the enemy and the deceit and the tricks of the evil ones in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare over you that you are going to grow in favor with God and with man in the name of Jesus. 
you are destined for greatness. And the Lord will use you mightily in your own generation in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning you, no evil shall come near you in the mighty name of Jesus. You will fulfill God's purpose for your life in Jesus' mighty name. I declare over you all that you have learned today, received today. Today marks a new beginning of a new dimension of greatness in your life, in your destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall surpass the greatest in your families in the mighty name of Jesus. You will please the Lord in all your doings, and through you many shall come to the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I release the blessing of God upon you in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Every form of cause that operates in your family, it is terminated for your sake in the name of Jesus. Your going out is blessed, your coming in is blessed. Whatever you touch, it prospers. You will live long and you will be satisfied. You will lack nothing good. Your destiny is blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every help you need to be successful in life, it shall come your way in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Life shall fall upon you in pleasant places and great shall be your joy in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you are blessed. The mark of Christ is upon you afresh. As you resume your schools, even this week, I pray that God will go ahead of you, perfect all, everything will work out for you, you will be the very best in the name of Jesus. You will be students of distinction in the mighty name of Jesus. And the light of God will shine in you, through you, and in you, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everywhere you go, the glory of the Lord shall be with you. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we declare. And if you know that you are blessed, I want you to shout a powerful hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of God. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. As we continue the service, God will continue to do wonders in the mighty name of God. church. Praise the Lord, church. So it's time for our tithes and offering, and together with our welfare offering. So I'm reading Malachi 3 verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that they may be, that they may meet in my house, and prove me now where it. Say the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour out your blessing, and there shall not be room enough to receive it. So if you are giving your tithe, please, I will ensure you to kindly come out and give your tithe. Is there anyone? So you begin to pray into your tithes and ask God for anything you want. Mm. For in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, your children has brought their tithes into the storehouse. Father Lord, replenish their pockets in Jesus' name. Father Lord, bless them in Jesus' name. Whatever they have asked from you, Father Lord, give it to them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. So it's time for our offering. Choir, please. Joy overflows in my heart. 
basket that God will replenish them. Can we begin to pray? Mm-hmm. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah.
Praise Master Jesus. Children of God, praise the Lord. Coming up next are the quiz. The children for quiz. I would like us to listen and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. If you know you're, you're for quiz, please begin to get prepared. Begin to come out now, please, please. Those for quiz, begin to come out. We can't forget it in a GP. Okay? Now, we want to test the knowledge of our children in the um, gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and also their pamphlet titled The Grateful Arts. I will introduce them one after the other and they come to the stage as I call them by their name. Okay, I will call on Nathaniel ba um, Akindele. Nathaniel Akindele. Can we jam our hands together for him? It's not easy. I will call you. Okay. Then the next person is Okoye Charles. Thank you. Jam your hands together. Okay. The next person is a female. Bella Bassi. I want you to walk with confidence. Come on. Okay. Yeah, the next person here is Adewale Olamide. I want you to gorgeously walk out. It's not easy to study. Please come out. Yeah, the next person I have here is Chinon So Ukachi. Good job. And the next on my list is Fin Folua Ademola. And the last person is Obina Uzo. Can you step up, please? Obina Uzo. Okay, it's nice to have you all here. I would like you to smile as you answer my questions, okay? Yeah, because you've had time to study, and I want you to be alive, okay? While answering the questions. All right. I hope you know that um, today's, cues, um, today's quiz is based on the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and your just-concluded pamphlet. And I believe you've studied hard for it, Okay. And here we have 35 questions. Yes, 1 to 35. Each of you will answer five questions, okay? So you're going to pick your number. We have your number one, your number two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? It's will go around that way. Open now, pick your number. Ten. Ten. According to Matthew 7, verses 13 to 14, viewing life as a pathway, how many possible ways and destinations are there? Viewing life as a pathway, according to Matthew 17, verse 13 to 14, your option says A, an infinite number, B, 2, C, 7, Awesome. Correct. Okay. 
The next person, pick your number. 15. Okay. Number 15 says, according to the Luke, according to the book of Luke 21, verse 20, what does what does Luke identify as the abomination of desolation? What does Luke identify as the abomination of desolation? A. Jerusalem surrounded by armies and the destruction of the city. B. The veil of the temple torn in two. C. The dead sea turning to blood. A. Correct. Okay. Allow me to pick your number. So, okay. Number 12 says, according to Matthew 7, verses 15 to 20, on what basis should we judge others? On what basis should we judge others? A, we should not judge others at all. B, we should judge them by their words. C, we should judge them by their fruits. According to Matthew 7, 15 to 20, on what basis should we judge others? What should we use in judging people? A, we should not judge them at all. B, we should judge them by their words, by the words of their mouth. C, we should judge them by their fruits. A. Wrong. Am I giving bonus? Okay, Bella. Let's say you. See. See. We should judge them by their fruits. Correct. The next person, pick your number, please. Eight. I can hear you. Number eight. Number eight. According to Matthew 6, 19 to 21, what did Jesus say we should try to save up? What did Jesus say we should try to save up? A, our hard earned wages. B, our treasure in heaven. C, grudges until judgment day. Should I take it again? According to Matthew 6, 19 to 21, what did Jesus say we should try to save up? A, our hard earned wages. B, our treasure in heaven. C, our grudges unto judgment day. C. Wrong. Nathaniel. What, should I take it again? Okay. What did Jesus say we should try to save up? A, our hard earned wages. B, our treasure in heaven. C, our grudges unto judgment day. B. Correct. Here's the next person. Number 11. Okay. Number 11. 11, according to Matthew 7, 28 to 29. Why were the people astonished at the teaching of Jesus? A, he spoke with such compassion. B, he could answer the curly argument of the scribes. C, he spoke with such authority. A, wrong. Yes, who is taking the option? No, not you. Okay. Obina. I can use the mic. B. No. C. Correct. Yes. Number two. Number two. Number two says, what is the memory verse of lesson 17? What is the memory verse of lesson 17?
What is the memory verse of lesson 17? Yes. But the comforter, which is the... Continue. Okay. Yes, we want to try. But the comforter, which the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall give you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I, ask, I say unto you. Awesome. Correct. Number one again. Um, the first person again. Okay, Chinonso. Eight. Someone has picked number eight. Nine. Okay, according to Matthew 5, verse 16, which of our religious acts or good work should we show in public? Which of, which of our religious acts should we show in public? We should do all our good work in secret, seen by God alone. We should set best possible example to others. We should do it to those that will cause people to glorify God. We should do it to those that will cause people to glorify God. I will take it again. According to Matthew 5, 16, which of our religious acts should we do in public? A- we should do all our good work in secret that will be seen by God alone. B, we should set best possible example to others. C, only those work that will cause people to glorify God instead of us. C. I will take it again. A, we should do all good works in secret seen by God alone. B, to set the best example to others. C, only those work that will cause people to glorify God instead of us. B. Correct. B. Okay, the answer is based on what that Bible um, passage is saying. It's not about what people are viewing generally. Based on what that passage is saying, okay? Correct. Pick your number. One. Number one. What is the central truth of lesson 46? What is the central truth of lesson 46? Grateful heart. Grateful heart. I don't know. Okay. Allow me there. Consequence of ungrateful heart rejection. No. Central truth of lesson 46. Yes. God wants us to be obedient at all times and be grateful. Correct. Pick your number. Five. Number five. According to Matthew five six, in the beatitude, the blessed are those a one should recognize it in all people, b one should hunger and taste for it. C, one should practice enough righteousness to balance out one's sin. B, one should hunger and taste for it. Correct. Yes, the next person. Number three. Number three. According to Mark 4, 26 to 29, which of the following is common in the parables of Jesus? Which of the following is common in the parables of Jesus? A, marriage as a lifelong relationship. 
B, God dealings with the patriarch. C, the kingdom of God. Should I take it again? According to Mark 4, 26 to 29, which of the following is common in the parables of Jesus? In the parables, Jesus says, which one of these is common? Marriage as a lifelong relationship. That's A. B, God's dealing with his people, the pastors, the shepherds. C, the kingdom of God. C. Correct. The kingdom of God. The next person. Number six. Number six. According to Luke 6, 27 to 28. If someone hurts you, how should you react? A. Do good to the offender. B. Desire to see justice immediately. C. Retreat in peace and avoid the offender in future. If you want me to take it again, just say that. Okay? According to Luke chapter 6, verses 27 and 28, if someone hurts you, how should you react? A. Do good to the offender. B. Desire to see justice immediately. C. Retreat in peace and avoid the offender in future. C. Wrong. Um, yes, Charles. Please, can I take the question again? If someone hurts you, how should you react? A. Do good to the offender. B. Desire to see justice swiftly, immediately. B C. Retreat in peace and avoid the offender in future. A. A. Correct. The next person. 14. I'm coming. What number? 14. 14. According to Matthew 7, 24 to 27, which was the best house? Which was the best house? A, the one built on the sand. B, the one built on the rock. C, both houses were equally good. B. Correct. Yes, pick your number. Number seven. According to Matthew 6, 34, how did Jesus say we should think about tomorrow? A, don't think about it at all. B, don't be worried and anxious. C, humbly admit that we cannot affect tomorrow. Should I take it again? According to Matthew 6, 34, how did Jesus say we should think about tomorrow? A, don't think about it at all. B, don't be worried and anxious. C, Humbly admit that we cannot affect tomorrow. A. Wrong. Yes, um. Obina. B. B. Correct. Don't be worried and anxious. Yes, the next person. Eleven. According to Matthew 7, 28 to 29, why were the people astonished at the... We have taken 11. 12. 12. Matthew 7, 15 to 20. On what basis should we judge others? We have taken that. Please, pick another number. 14. Taken. 13. According to Matthew 7 verse 5, what does it mean to take the log out of your own eye? What does it mean to take the log out of your own eye? A. To examine yourself and repent. B. To heal yourself spiritually. C. To have eye surgery. A. A. To examine yourself and repent. Correct. Yes. 15. Okay. 15. According to the book of Luke 21 verse 20. What does Luke 
Oh, we've taken this, 15. 20. According to John 5, 28 to 29, 28 to 29, who will rise from the dead at the resurrection? Who will rise from the dead at the resurrection? A, only those who believed in Christ. B, it has not been revealed. C, everyone who has ever died. Who will rise from the dead at the resurrection? A, only those who believe in Christ. B, it has not been revealed. C, everyone who has ever died. A. Wrong. According to that, John, it is not according to your assumption. It is not according to how people view. According to that passage. Yes, Nathaniel. C. Correct. Everyone who has ever died. The next question. 25. According to Matthew 6, 33, what place should the kingdom of God have in our lives? Matthew 6, 33, what place should the kingdom of God have in our lives? A, it should come after we've got our food and clothing. B, we should devote one hour each in a day. C, the kingdom of God and his righteousness should always be what we seek first. C. Correct. Next question. Number 35. 35. Okay. What is represented by thorns in the parable of the sower and the seed? According to the, according to the book of Luke 8 verse 14. What is represented by the thorns in the parable of the sower and the seed? A, worry of the world and the cares of life. B, persecution. C, the love of money. A, correct. Worry of the world and the cares of life. Next person. Number three. Number three, according to Mark 4, 26 to 29, which of the following, no, we've taken this. Okay, which of the following is common in the parables of Jesus? We've taken this. Yes. Number 19. Number 19, according to John 14, 1 to 6, who is coming to lead believers in Christ to their heavenly mansions? Who is coming to lead the believers in Christ to their heavenly mansions? A. Jesus Christ himself. B. Michael the Archangel. C. Believers are able to find their own way. A. Correct. Jesus Christ himself. Next person. Pick your number. 29. According to Mark 14, 12 to 16, when the two disciples went to prepare the Passover, what did they say to gain entrance to the place? According to Mark 14, 12 to 16, when the two disciples went to prepare the Passover, what did they say to gain entrance to the place? A, the teacher says, where is the guest room in which I may eat with my disciples? B, a man Bearing a pitcher of water, send me to you. See, the Lamb of God take away the sins of the world. Show us the room that we may prepare the last supper. Correct. Okay, the last person. Okay, the last two. Yes, pick your number. 32. 32. What is the meaning of the word parable? What is the meaning of the word parable? According to Mark 4, 23 to 27. A, a symbolic story. B, a familiar idea put beside an unfamiliar idea. C, 
a sermon with two topics. B. Correct. What is the central truth of lesson five? What is the central truth of lesson five? Love your neighbor as yourself. As, and this is my commandment unto you. Yeah, do you have anything contrary to that? Though he didn't read it to a boy, it's correct. Yeah, give it to Nat. Friends and friends and neighbor. Friends and neighbors are commandments from God. No, friends and neighbors, love them as yourself, or them as from the commandment of God. No. Loving your friends and neighbors wholeheartedly is a command from God. Awesome, correct. Okay, we'll round up now because of our time. Um... Alright, this quiz is not to judge you or to condemn you. You all have done well. So I will not be announcing the winner. They all tried. They did wonderfully well. Can we please jam our hands for them? Thank you. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the living Jesus. Please, if you know you are your first um, timer in the house, please, can you please be on your feet? First timer in the house, please be on your feet. Thank you, brother. You are in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will never go back the same way you came. Cause you are in the right place at the right time with the right people. You will never go back the same way. God will bless you. A card will be given to you so you fill up your name, your address, and your prayer point. Thank you. So, we'll move on to our announcements. All weekly activities remain the same. Every Sunday morning due prayer start by 6.30 a.m. First service start by uh, early risers start at um, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Second service, praise service start by 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Tuesday, digging deep start by 6.30 to 8 p.m. And Thursday, faith 
clinic start by 6 30 to 7 30 p.m every second and third saturday evangelism and the time says 5 p.m every second friday we always have a mount zion video which starts 10 p.m every third friday of every month we have men men's video which starts 10 p.m every third saturday women's meetings start 9 a.m to 10 a.m every last friday general video starts 9 p.m to 11 p.m every saturday meaning of the church starts 7 a.m and sunday school starts by 9 a.m except on combined service for more information about the church please visit our website www praisetabernacle.com Facebook CRCCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo and YouTube RCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo For offering tithe seed first fruit our account number starts 1015 I repeat 1015 eight six five three seven two and our and our account name is zenith bank rccg praise tabernacle for ongoing project in the church our account number starts one zero one six six one five nine four five i repeat one zero one six six one five nine four five rccg praise tabernacle ogombo zenith bank all members should be belong to a house fellowship center for those living outside Ongobo, please see Bami Dele for online house fellowship. If you have any question about the church, please see the admin. Concerning the feeding of the children, please indicate why sending if you are using USSD card, please the admin. Region 51 men connect prayer meeting every Monday time 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Every second Sunday, we are always having tea Sunday. Members that come are during the anniversary service and those that want to join in providing materials for building the children's church please put their names down with Pastor Godswin. Those that are yet to collect their baptism and workers in training certificate should please see the admin for collection. The children church is in need of carpenter. If you are interested, please meet Pastor Godswin. Choir concerts come in center about 15. And the team goes, praise the king. And the choir has something for us. Wait, is it that church where they close the police station? Bam. You oh. can be aware where that church where they close the police station. Uh, Last year they gather people. Uh, if you enter the hall, uh, no chair because all the chair. Yeah, she do on top. What's it happen? What did they do? Sit down for gram. Uh, uh, children, no. Uh, Mama, oh. Uh, Mama, oh. Uh, Mama, oh. Uh, All of them gather. 
You don't they, you see, you don't even make me tired. What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? They want to do another round, no? They say an choir concert. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. You know that woman where Sabi dance? Yes. That woman went from a do state where she will sing. <laughs> you know what's happened? You know, say me. You know, say me at the light dance. In the apple, no, for the apple ministry. Praise the Banaco Parish choir concert. Hey. Next week, Sunday, hey. on the 15th. By 3 p.m., Pere, it did happen. Wait first. You say that's when it happened that time. What happened? I went first, no day. <laughs> you, hear, you know, say, somebody come whisper from my ear. Because it's not come now. I don't come. Yeah, I and it, it talks, say, that some people fool everywhere. Yeah. See, dance. Yeah. Oh, that, but tell me more. That, 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 the choir concert where they come this time, that one is small. Yeah. This one, if you just enter leg like this, yeah. you got to see the glory, they come down. If he can't do like this, he going to see anointing, they fall. Uh-huh. When he can't do like this, uh-huh. I'm on power where they flow. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let the minister, they come. Yeah. You know what's happening? Me, I don't want to talk. I just want to go where I'm going to do like this. Uh-huh. I will do like this. You know that minister, where they call minister, I don't care. Uh-huh. Should they come? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You saw me, where, where should they come? What about that one? You say, I voice you like, say, they crack, but you know they crack. <laughs> Sister Bess. Okay. What should they see? I know now. What should they see you do? Bam. 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 And that, that, that organ is going to come to the airport. Pion, pion, pion. It will happen this Sunday when they come. <laughs> now today, eh? Now today I know say, yeah, did they bring better story? <laughs> you know what's happening? Wait, wait. You know, you know, you know that, that is your woman. You know, you know, eh? Uh, oh, oh, me. No, they rush. No, they rush. Wait. Eh. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the one who could praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, I can't hear that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I need to praise yourself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm-mm. It's not even passing this silly. Praise the Banaku. Praise the Lord. Better. Now, I'm here to invite you all. Please, please, turn to somebody. Turn to somebody. I said, turn to somebody. And say, Praise to the king. Say praise to the king. Praise to the king. It's happening live this coming Sunday on the 15th of September. Please, please invite a friend and let that friend invite another friend. Invite and let let the invite just keep going. Eh? It's going to be powerful. And we know that saying that says, when praises go up, blessings will surely come down. Praise God. So, ministry life are Minister A.Y., Minister A.Y. Praise, Pastor Elvis Onejego, and Minister Elizabeth. And as well, we have Praise Rated Voices. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. We are all going to be there present to bless and to minister life into the life of everyone. Please don't miss it. It's going to be power packed, blessing packed, favor packed any kind of pack you want it to be. Praise God. I'm going to see you there. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to see you there. I'm going to see you there. Say, I'm going to see you there. there. Alright, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. The program is next week Sunday, actually. So please bring your dancing shoes. If you know you cannot dance with high heels, please pull it, pull it up. So, the children department requests for the support of the children to afford the church in providing building materials for the ongoing project of which a burden of roof roof sheets cost 54,000 54, Re- welfare department presents a day training with the following hair cream body spray etc and the date is on 1st October 2024 and the time says 
9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And the venue is the church premises. Registration fee is 2K. Please register. It, it, I promise you it will be impactful in Jesus' name. A Papa Family Region 20 and Region 51 presents joint leadership and prayer champion vigil. Minister in is our dear daddy, Pastor Korede Patan and Pastor Remy, and other minister of God. Date Friday 13th of this month, September 2024. And the time, the time says 10 p.m. and the venue is RCCG City of David. Of all house fellowship leader should wait immediately after the service for a brief meeting. Excellent men should please wait for a brief meeting immediately after the service. Thank you. That is all for the for today. Please can we have the redeem anthem? Thank you. Please can you rise for the redeem anthem? Please hold on. We have some announcements. Praise the Lord, church. We want to say a very big thank you to you all, her parents, aunties, uncles. We say to God be all the glory for this successful service today. And we say the Lord who has used you to make this a reality will bless you even beyond your expectations in the name of Jesus. The word of God in the book of Matthew 25 says that Jesus said that I came to you that I want water you gave me. We came to you that we need your support and you supported us. The Lord will support you throughout your days on earth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your children will not lack everywhere you go. Help will locate you in the name of Jesus. We are grateful. We say thank you to you all. Thank you. Please, can we have the moment? Please, can you be, please be on your feet? Thank you. Declaration, please. John 3 15 and 3 16. I mean, 15. John 3 15. John 3 15. I should go and be a fruit, and my fruit should remain. That whatsoever I ask the Father in his name be give unto me. Please, can we share the grace and fellowship? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.